Okay. And like Crystal said, we are going to do a little short form of improv for you guys tonight um, with your help. So uh, we'll get things started here right away. Uh, our first game is going to be a parallel universe. And it's going to be the four ladies up here. Um, how this game is going to work is Kristen and Tasha are going to do a two person scene. Uh, at any point, I can say Maurice. And then Jaslyn and Casey will step in. They'll do a completely different scene, but they've got to take over their scene in the same uh, poses that Kristen and Tasha ended up. Okay, so for Kristen and Tasha, can I get a suggestion for a location that will fit on this stage? A nail salon. A nail salon. And for Jaslyn and Casey, um, let's get a like boring occupation. Accountant. Accountant. Awesome. All right. <laughs> so, Tasha and Kristen will lead us off, and uh, we'll count down this scene like we've ever seen. Help me out in three, two, one. Thank you so much for coming in today. Please sit. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. I just, um, you just really need to get comfortable. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Wow. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, my foot's cramping. That's fine. That's it. That was fun. Just use your muscles. It's good. You look nice and comfortable. Okay. I came for a, a dip on my nails. You're getting the full treatment today. We're running a special. Oh, this is our opening weekend. Freeze. <coughs> Stacey, you have to take a break from all those accounts. <laughs> So that's 
my she's like work. So just positive skills. Gotcha. But it's okay. You know, we're gonna cheers. Always. Freeze. <laughs>
enlightening, um, maybe not on the subject, but that's okay. And finally, at the end. Um, I don't really know how you would get food into a phone. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best apps are definitely like wings, tots, anything that you can just like get involved that like the men will really like. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, uh, can we get another question? Yeah. Um, what's the most influential program you've written? Most influential program you've written? I don't know if you guys are familiar with Messenger. But the thing is, how you used to talk to your friends if you already have a cell phone. Um, I did that all by myself. And, um, so probably Messenger. Okay, great. Uh, Paige. Well, I, I helped do a program at my high school. We, we did a little fundraiser and we had a dance and I, I helped run that. <laughs> Again, not really applicable, but sure, that helps. Um, okay, and uh, finally. So last week we had like where you could come and then you could get free beer, and then you could like also pay me more money for seeing women, and that was good. <laughs> I was in charge. Oh, yeah, very awesome. Uh, looks like we have time for one last question. Um, so did anyone? Okay. How can you teach? Um, how can I teach the kids in my class um, about programming? What oh, yeah. Teaching the youth programming. Um, I would say they probably should go to school. But then if the schools don't have it, there's YouTube that helps a lot. Um, so I would say once again back to the garage example. Just once you're in that garage, you can go on YouTube. Probably find some really good programming advice. <laughs> Swell of knowledge. Okay, uh, <laughs> So I think it's really important that we have new programs. So I I think just coming up with a variety of topics like um, basket weaving and tiddly Heart playing. So like a summer. <laughs> you literally just described a summer. That sounds great. <laughs> do they have something like that? That'd be so fun. Yeah, they do. Oh, like all over the <laughs> Okay, probably gonna regret this last one. <laughs> Go ahead. So I do think like a garage is a great place to start. Teach them what you know so that they know from a young age like how to do things right. Yeah, it's it's normal. <laughs> okay. Um great. Uh, well thanks for your questions guys. Uh, before we leave off, I just kinda want everyone to maybe share their life motto, you know, something with uh, with the audience. Yeah. Um, so my favorite way to program is C++, but I think to get ahead in life, you really have to have an A++. And <laughs> <laughs> I want everyone in the audience to know that you should follow your wildest dreams, and you too can work at Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know that I have like a, a sum up motto, but do you think I don't know. Probably not you, but... <laughs> Yeah. Mine is twofold, and it is that you've got it flaunted and you shake it until you make it. <laughs> I will say, as a programmer, that was a very accurate description. Uh, is C language? It's a thing, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so. <laughs> We're going to play a game called Late for Work. Uh, so this is going to be for me, Casey, Kristen, and Tasha. Uh, so Kristen's going to leave the room. 
So how this, how this is going to work is uh, Kristen's going to be late for work. However, she doesn't know why she's late for work. That's going to be up to uh, me and Casey to describe to her through uh, um, And then Tasha is going to play the boss. Who's here. So what I need from you guys is I need um, a uh, reason why she's late for work. And it can just be anything ridiculous. All right, guy. Okay, I got it off. Toaster got fired, and one more. She's from the future. She's from the future. Okay, so. Toaster got fired, and she's from the future. Absolutely. All right, um, so we will begin this scene, uh, and uh, helps count it down in three, two, one. Where is she? <laughs> We're slammed, and she's not even here. <laughs> and we, we talked about it yesterday, and she was like, I promise. And we had like this whole like blood bond sort of situation. And right. She said she and yeah. I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. So sorry, I'm late. I can't. I know. It's never going to happen again. And I said that yesterday and last week. Yeah. So what is it this time, Gloria? Well, I was being a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> His back is green. Yeah. He can't bend over and he looks up panties or burgers anymore. It, hurts. it is not workman's call, okay? It hurts. Get, get after it. Get, get after it. Okay. So, what you were saying? So, I was being a rabbit donkey. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 